Uh, hey guys, so in this video I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to do absolutely free uh, and really simple keyword research using ChatGPT and um, just a spreadsheet and I will just ver use SEMrush to verify some of these keywords, see if they work. So basically what you want to do is, uh, is just go to ChatGPT and first of all, it's going to be based on your niche, right? So let's just choose a niche. Um, I don't know. Give me 10 random niches for a website. It's because I can't really think of a good one off the top of my head. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, home automation. All right. Can you give me 10 home automation? Uh, 10 broad topics that I can use for content silos for my home automation website. So this is just going to build out the um, kind of like the core topics and categories for the site. And already we have some great options here. So list these topics, uh, list just the topics, no bullet points just to give me a cleaner list. Here we go. Perfect. So basically, this is the list we will work from. Uh, that's not gonna work either. But this is the list we will work from for our keyword research. Now let me just copy these into here. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. One second. Okay, we're back uh, with the spreadsheet formatted. So now we really easily, really quickly have a set of categories of 10 categories for the site, right? So this is where we wanna start building content from. And they all seem to be pretty relevant enough to, what was it, smart home, uh, no, home automation, right? Smart home basics, home automation devices, voice assistance and control, home automation ecosystems, right? These all seem uh, pretty good. It's a good start without having done any research yet of competitors and using, you know, using Google at all. So what I would do now is just take Smart Home Basics, go back to ChatGPT and say, give me 20 long tail, low competition keywords uh, related to Smart Home Basics that I can create blog posts for. Now keep in mind that this doesn't always work on the first prompt, uh, it could be too specific uh, or it could be too broad, but you really need to run this search on ChatGPT to check. And it actually does look uh, pretty good. Now, format the list uh, without numbers or quotations, just to make things easier to paste into the spreadsheet. Perfect. So what you do now, you just take this back to your spreadsheet here. Paste it in, not like that. I don't like how that's not giving me the list. Um, yeah, why is it doing it this way, but not? Anyways, um, one second. Okay, I have no idea why that was not formatted in an actual list from ChatGPT, but here we are. So now we have a list of keywords uh, to start creating content around. Now the problem that a lot of you are gonna run into uh, without using a tool like SEMrush is how do you know if this keyword is actually driving traffic? You don't need to know the specific you know, keyword, um, uh, you don't need to know the volume, you don't need to know the keyword difficulty, but you need to know if Google is going to want to actually rank your content if you create a, con if you create a piece of content about this keyword. So I'll just take the first one, right? Setting up a smart home for beginners. All I would do from this to see what to actually write about is paste this into Google and search, right? Now Google's giving you the actual content it wants to rank for this specific keyword. Without SEMrush, without using a different strategy, uh, it's harder to tell, it's harder to find those you know super low competition keywords. You can, you can just keep diving further and further into this ChatGPT process. But at least from here, you'll be able to see what's ranking. And for the setting up a smart home for beginners uh, keyword, you know, the main theme is how to set up, I would say how to set up your smart home, right? That's gonna be a much better uh, title. So I would just go back to um, Google Sheets here 
and add that as my title, right? And then same for this one, right? You would just search this keyword in Google just to see what Google's gonna give you as an answer. Smart Home 101, Smart Home Definition, what is a smart home? So again, Ch ChatGPT is kind of giving you the right idea. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna send you in, in, a, in a good direction. It's not gonna give you the exact keywords or even, you know, yeah, it's not gonna give you the exact keywords you wanna be ranking for or creating content for, but it's gonna give you the right topic. And with this topic, you can then go ahead and search on Google uh, for actual, you know, to find the actual type of content you should be uh, writing your uh, blog posts and building your website around. So as you can see here, it's really simple to go through each of these. Um, and I have 20 just for smart home basics. And again, there are so many of these where Google is already giving you the, um, um, Google's just giving you the answers here. Uh, for some of them, it's gonna be a bit trickier, right? Um, so this one, how to make your smart home on a budget, I would leave that one, right? Because Google isn't giving you a really specific uh, result or a really specific keyword to target. But so for, uh, yeah, I would leave that one. And again, you just have to go through each of the ones you pull from ChatGPT, paste it into Google and see, sorry, Siri just kicked on and see what Google uh, wants you to write about, right? So for example, smart home automation, advantages. Again, I would just go benefits of smart home technology, um, benefits of, uh, slash automation. It's really that simple, right? Now, how can you tell if these are low competition or not? You really can at this point, uh, but by the time you go through, for example, um, all 20 of these, you create the content times your 10 uh, topics, you're gonna have, what's that, 200 blog posts on the site. From there, uh, you'll be able to use Google Search Console to check how low competition uh, these keywords really are. And now just to, just to double check, right? Let's go see what uh, SEMrush says for some of these keywords. Smart Home Automation Basics. All right, it's giving me zero volume, which is fine. Um, smart Home Automation. The thing is, SEMrush isn't necessarily going to give you the right isn't going to give you the right answer for this particular for this specific keyword. But looking at Google, you can see that there is volume or that there is rather demand uh, for these topics. If, if other websites are writing this content, there's more than one website writing that specific content for that keyword. And right, this one does have the uh, volume. For example, this is a very low volume keyword. But if, you, if there is demand on Google for these keywords, right, from legitimate enough seeming websites, and again, it's not just one or two articles, there's a lot of content about that. This is definitely content you can start to build your uh, website around and using these verticals. Um, and yeah, this is just a super quick video on how to easily, easily do keyword research to find these low, low competition enough keywords completely for free, even if you don't use SEMrush or Ahrefs or any of the other tools. Um, from here, what I would do is just start using ChatGPT to build out this content and, uh, and refer to Google Search Console in, a, in about a month or so to see how everything's performing, what can be improved, and what keywords I should actually be targeting. Uh, with this strategy, you should be able to build out a site uh, that's earning enough on, on, uh, on ads or affiliates or even promoting your own service or product to then eventually pay for SEMrush and just dive into a much deeper aspect of keyword research. But this is a great start for any sites, uh, and especially if you wanna start a niche site or anything like that. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below, and we'll catch you in the next video.